The real secret of power is consciousness of power. You cannot entertain weak, harmful, negative thoughts 10 hours a day and expect to bring about beautiful, strong and harmonious conditions by 10 minutes of strong, positive, creative thought. Whatever you desire for yourself, affirm it for others and it will help you both. We reap what we sow. All growth is from within. This is evident in all nature. Every plant, every animal, every human is a living testimony to this great law. And the error of the ages is in looking for strength or power from without. Then comes the process of visualization. You must see the picture more and more complete. See the detail. And as the details begin to unfold, the ways and means for bringing it into manifestation will develop. One thing will lead to another. Our future is entirely within our own control. It is not at the mercy of any capricious or uncertain external power. Why is intuition superior to reason? Because it does not depend upon experience or memory and frequently brings about the solution to our problems by methods concerning which we are in entire ignorance. When you have learned to control yourself, you will have found the world within which controls the world without. You will have become irresistible. Not what you think once in a while when you are in church or have just read a good book, but your predominant mental attitude is what counts. Learn to keep the door shut, keep out of your mind, out of your office, and out of your world. Every element that seeks admittance with no definite helpful end in view. Substitute thoughts of courage, power, self-reliance and confidence for those of fear, lack, and limitation. Every thought, therefore, is a cause and every condition an effect. For this reason, it is absolutely essential that you control your thoughts so as to bring forth only desirable conditions. Faith is the eternal elixir which gives life, power, and action to the impulse of thought. Intuition often comes with a suddenness that is startling. It reveals the truth for which we are searching, so directly that it seems to come from a higher power. Amid all the mysteries by which we are surrounded, nothing is more certain than that we are ever in the presence of an infinite and eternal energy from which all things proceed. We must be before we can do, and we can do only to the extent which we are, and what we are depends upon what we think. Seek the silence frequently. Power comes from repose. There are three steps, and each one is absolutely essential. You must first have the knowledge of your power. Second, the courage to dare. Third, the faith to do. Thought impregnated with love becomes invincible. The only way to keep from going backward is to keep going forward. Eternal vigilance is the price of success. When you are at one with the world, you often find that the thing you seek is seeking you. To improve our conditions, we must first improve ourselves. There is a world within, a world of thought and feeling and power, of light and beauty, and although invisible, its forces are mighty. 
The absolute truth is that the I is perfect and complete. The real I is spiritual and can therefore never be less than perfect. It can never have any lack, limitation, or disease. Truth contains a vital principle and will manifest itself. To acquire love, fill yourself up with it until you become a magnet. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments and continue enriching your mind.